I got broads in Atlanta, just to throw in the family. Credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van. Legacies, family. Way and see, look like a family. Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 139 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Juggernaut. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. He loaded up there on that high kick. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, 
that's a nice strike. Lands. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Oh, a huge block there. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Effective punch there by Lee. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Superman punch. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Lands flush with that right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that man, DC. Big body kick. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And both guys really throwing with authority. He is all about that left kick to the body. Nice kick. Body by Lee. Oh, nice, beautiful collar tie. He's got him in the clinch. Left hand punch from the clinch. Great punch. Nice kick to the body. Ten seconds now to go in the round. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. This next round, I want you to relax a little bit. You're too tight, you're forcing your All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round and very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. He blocks the punch. Big kick lands. Kick to the body by Lee. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Beautiful punch. Big knee there. Just unable to quite find that range. Big punch lands through the middle. to block that powerful kick to the body. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Beautiful body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. You got to check these low leg kicks. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Nice punch there. Don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his arms. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighters setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Punch over the top. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, wow! Huge head kick. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Another shot lands upstairs. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. All right, round three coming up next. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round. DC, take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All 
right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Get him whip his hip into that kick. Head kick blocked. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. That's a big strike right there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Pretty good right hand. Right hook to the head block. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Goes back to that left kick once again. Nice loop and punch. Can't take many of those. You better check. Three minutes now to go in this one. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Big kick lands. Good punch. Went for the inside leg kick. Kick to the body by Lee. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Right punches there. Blocks the shot. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Some nice back and forth action here. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing one before, now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful. Whoa! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him.
table. In what a round. round. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets on. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice jab. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Powerful leg kick lands. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice. Big kick. Lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Nice punch there by Lee. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, missed on that one. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Trying to double up on that jab. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the court. He mixed it up. All the ground and pound strikes continue. This very, very dangerous position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Missed with that right hand. Wow. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Working out of the half guard here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Nice punch lands over the top. Tags him with the left. Oh! oh he's he's gone. He got him! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight.
All right, let's rewrap the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop for this contest at three minutes, 59 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud.